Adam, um, it's been a year since we've uh, interviewed, um, and you were here as a keynote presenter at um, last year's uh, CIO forum. You'd actually just joined your current employer, Late Rooms, from Avis Group. So you've been at Late Rooms just over uh, one year. I'm just really intrigued to see what that journey has been over the last year and how it's been different from your previous uh, incarnation within Avis Europe. Yeah, I'm finding the whole market to be very different. It's, yep. um, it's joining a business that was a startup. 12 years ago. It's matured quite a lot, but it's not got too much of what you'd call legacy. Whereas with Avis, we had a 42-year-old mainframe, we had lots and lots of legacy. Very different proposition trying to take um, a legacy business online and into emerging markets and doing all the things that you need to do today to compete in the, in the global markets. With Late Rooms, we're finding that it's great because we're a website and we've got a web presence and we're going to build on that and we can take that internationally very, very quickly. The challenges I find here with late rooms that are significantly different are the location. So we do struggle to attra attract the best talent in the Northwest. It's not the easiest market to recruit in, especially when you want to recruit in the upper quartile. Yeah. So we're finding a bit of a crunch there on developer skills and some other key skills that we really need to grow the business. But we're also finding that the, the challenges have changed as well. The, the whole market for everybody has moved on so quickly in 12 months and mobile is at the forefront of everything that people try and do. And there's these conversations around is mobile going to be 50% of all transactions that happen for online businesses by the end of 2015. Those kind of things we weren't actually talking about in Avis, whereas here, very much front of mind, how do we deal with that challenge and how do we take the business forward in that environment? And how important do you see mobile as being for late I, I think it's going to be massive. I, I think um, if we don't participate in a market that is potentially 50% of all the transactions, then we really are limiting the business. So, huge opportunity. There's a lot of international markets where mobile is out there, but desk base or um, desktop type screens don't really cut the mustard. There isn't the, the, the land based comms, but there's lots of mobile comms. So, it does start to open up other markets that you wouldn't traditionally think of if you were producing a website that ran just on a desktop. Adam Gerard, thank you very much. Thank you.